Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna to talk about my new bike. Why I bought a new bike. What I expect to get out of this new bike. What can it do for me? And more importantly, how long will I be on the couch because of the new bike? So as we talk about the TFT, we need to talk about this BMW connected app. So we're gonna click into this app. And that's what you're gonna see, right? So first thing you gotta do is go down here, these three dots, Go to where it says map download and you'll find all the states and you need to download the state or area that you're in you will see if you go to texas texas is so badass we got two right so i've gone ahead and i've downloaded my my map and you can set your vehicle up in here and all those things and all this you know uh, trip settings, do you want it to go fastest, shortest, all those things, you can do that right here. So we go back to this screen and this is your rides and all those things. So then you're ready to go for a ride. Okay, so we're gonna do a little test here on the Nav 6 versus the navigation through that BMW connected app. So we'll start with the Nav 6. Type in the address here. So I literally took this address straight off the, the website. All right, there it goes. So we'll take that one. All right. Now we're going to do the same address in a BMW connected app. There's my app right here. We're going to pull it up. Now I have already downloaded the Texas maps. It seemed to pull it up pretty quick. And then we hit go. All right, so I'm also testing the quad lock. So we'll put that in the pocket. All right. Now, one thing that I've noticed is, see, I left my screen on the TFT at, at the little dash. Now, I don't think you can hear that, but the BMW connectivity app is talking to me and, and it told me, you know, in that little automated voice to make my left hand turn up here. So that's, that's pretty. Now, if you look at the TFT dash, see how it turned to like the navigation part? So it automatically, automatically switches to that navigation screen when a turn or a change comes up. And then, it's gonna go right back. That's pretty cool, I don't have to do anything. Didn't have to do a thing. And if you look at my phone, you see how it's horizontal and the map is horizontal, it stays that way. Now with the quad lock, I could go ahead and turn that and, and put it forward and up and down, but I wanted to be able to see the, the TFT clearly. And, and I will say that with this app and with this navigation, you can put the phone in, in, in a in a pan air in your jacket pocket. See again, see the navigation down here. It's automatically changing to tell you where you're going, so it gives you a good visual. And that visual is probably bigger than the Garmin, right? I mean, I, I will say it was certainly faster typing in that address on my phone than it was the nav and and I am a huge nav 6 fan I've, I've got two of them and and my whole purpose of this is can I do away with one my, my goal is the iron butt rally in 2023 um, it literally just finished yesterday so it's every other year so 
I, I want to have this thing ready to go and and I'm gonna do some more rallies what you like scavenger hunts and, and that's why I use two GPS's but if you look at the navigation I went down and, and now you can change some dang things on it I, I haven't messed with that a bunch but I, I like to be able to look at my dash and then automatically it comes up with that. I, I, I do really like that. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, so now it looks like they've both updated about the same so and I'm going to that Denny's and it looks to me like they both They both got me there about the same. This was pretty simple, not a not a huge challenge for anything. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay, so test number one went okay. So let's go on to test number two. Um, and, and I do give it a tie as far as the actual navigation on test one. The only difference is it was much easier to find the address, upload the address in a BMW connected app as opposed to the Garmin Nav 6. So second address, let's go. And, and these are just kind of random spots, things that I really wanted to go see and do today. So it's, there's not much thought otherwise. One Winko Drive, all right. <clears throat> I don't know that that's right, but we're gonna see. All right, so that went pretty quick there. Now we're gonna go one. Hope you can see that. W I. All right. <clears throat> turn left, then turn right. So I'm gonna do the phone with quad lock. You can do it both ways. So we're gonna do it that direction this time. Um, And let's uh, let's do a little music too to complicate the system and make sure it's working. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, I, so inherently I follow the nav and. That's different from this. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'm just so the the Garmin's right there in your face, right? And I'm. Hang on, I gotta turn the music down. I can't even hear myself think. All right, so I'm used to following the Garmin, so my eyes are like programmed, so to speak, at at looking at it. They were both different. Both the the BMW app had me going straight. The Garmin had me turning. Uh, which one's better? I, this got me to the access road quicker. I I, I will say that. So, for whatever reason, the algorithms are a little different and they're thinking a little different. All right, so 
the test between the NAV6 and the BMW Connected app and its system, the BMW Connected app is certainly, I think, easier to punch in an address and find something. Uh, I don't know, it does have an option to import stuff. You can look at that. Uh, I've never done it. I'm not sure I wanna import a big, huge route into my phone. Uh, I think the, the Garmin Nav 6 or 5 or whatever you have it is a better option for that. But let's just face it, if you're just going to the nearest Starbucks to meet up with the rest of your BMW buddies, and, and you're going to Starbucks you're not familiar with, that's a quick and easy way to type something in. It's, it's fast that way, and it worked very well. Uh, I did find on the four different addresses I, I tested that the algorithm of the two are a little different, so they don't always take the same route. Is, is one completely better than the other? I don't know, um, but I can say that it, it worked well. So I think if you're in the market for a new bike and it has a TFT and it's specifically like this BMW, uh, you may not need to jump off in there and, and, and buy a thousand dollar Garmin right off the bat. So take a look at it. It's, uh, it's functional you get a lot of data out of it. All right. Hope you got something out of this video. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel. Keep an eye out for the next video. Thank you, have a great day, be safe.